You know, there's just nothing like the burning sensation of a nine o'clock Red Bull, is there? Okay, besides that, I have a very simple, easy, quick, and informative video that I've decided to make for this week. A question I get asked simply way too much and I'm here to rescue all of you lost social media Instagrammers and TikTokers and whatnot. I'm teaching you how to export high quality videos for your Instagram and or TikTok. Roll it. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to yet another Quick Tips with Jackson Lebsack, the series where I give you quick tips and you walk out of here a better filmmaker, and I at least try my best to not waste your time. All right, with that being said, yeah, we're making some high quality videos specifically tailored for social media today. This is something I think you're really gonna benefit from if you don't already use it. I think your engagement rates are gonna be through the roof. No, no guarantees on that one. Anyway, let's jump into Premiere Pro and get right ahead with this thing. All right, so once you're in Premiere here, I just have a sample project opened up of an exported YouTube video that I had already made for a client. In this case, it's United Airlines and Ski.com back when I did the dream job. And this project actually never has seen the, uh, the light of day. But before we get into it, let me roll the video so that you see what I'm working with. My name is Jackson Lebsack. Travel is my passion, skiing is my obsession, and videography is my profession. After reviewing a field of 1,200 applicants, Ski.com hired me to explore 18 ski destinations available on the Epic Pass. Over the course of two life-changing months, I traveled via United Airlines to three continents and seven countries, experiencing everything in sight. Fly United, ski the world. All right, there it is. So first things first, what we're gonna do, before we even drag this clip down anywhere or anything else, we go up to the top left of our screen here in Premiere, click File, New, Sequence. Skip this overwhelming stream of numbers because we'll fix it, boom. Now we've got our 1920 by 1080 sequence, but that's not what we want. We want this to be in a vertical Instagram format. So to do so, we go back up to the top left, click sequence, sequence settings, and then go over here to frame size, and this is the key. We're gonna change this number to 1842 for the horizontal dimensions, and we're gonna change the vertical dimensions to 2403. There we go. As you can see, the sequence is now formatted to fit on your phone in the max width that Instagram allows. Now, the reason we chose those numbers was this is actually a 2K file, so that when we scale up our project, which you'll see in a second, it holds the quality and Instagram's compression doesn't completely destroy it like it does with uh, some people's videos. 2K file helps with the compression. I'd rather have a large file that gets compressed down and still remains HD after compression. So once we have our sequence set up to be formatted for Instagram, we now take our exported file that was originally created for YouTube or wherever you were planning on posting it and just drag it in. The key here is once this window pops up, you'll see you can change sequence settings to match what you created or keep the existing. We're gonna keep existing because we just created this sequence for Instagram. As you can see, now we have our project laid out into our Instagram formatted video, but there's clearly big black bars on the top and bottom of the video, and we want our video to fill the screen. This way we take up the most real estate in Instagram. Overall, it's gonna result in better engagement and a more cinematic experience. So to do so, it's super simple. All we gotta do is go over to the effect control panel, click on scale, and scale it up to 223, and it will fit the frame perfectly. Yay! If there's any shots that aren't lined up properly, for example, my face here, we can go ahead and just go to the beginning of that clip, make a cut, go to the end of that clip, make a cut, go over to the position, and just reframe it to be more in the center. Do that for any and every single clip that you need to be reframed, and once your clips are good to go, it's time to export. To export, we're gonna go up to the top left of Premiere here, click File, scroll down to Export, and then click Media. 
or you can do Control M or Command M if you're on Mac. Now you're gonna be granted with the export settings window and it's pretty simple what we do here. We're gonna keep our format in an H.264. We're gonna have our preset be a YouTube 1080 Full HD. But now you can see that our Instagram format just got chopped back to this 1920 by 1080 format with a little strip down the middle, which is not what we want. So to fix that, we just go over here and click match source. This makes it so that that preset now matches your sequence settings, refitting it to the vertical Instagram that we had just created. Once you're good with that, you're almost good to go. After you check this box here, use maximum render quality. This ensures that we get the max render quality once we export. For my case, I'll just export this to the desktop and title it United Instagram. Click export and you're good to go. If you're wondering how to get that file onto your phone, if you're on Mac, you can use AirDrop, or if you're on PC, there's plenty of options similar to AirDrop. Unfortunately, I don't know why PC can't have AirDrop, but it sucks. So I use this third-party app called Zapya. It's pretty much the same thing as AirDrop, but over Wi-Fi, or you can use any program or platform like Dropbox and Google Drive. So that pretty much covers it on the Instagram side of things. It's an extremely useful tool for clients, for whoever, for professional work, for your own personal Instagram. A lot of the times you export a video to be formatted in the 1920 by 1080 sequence, but once you're done with it, you also sometimes wanna have a social media version for Instagram or TikTok. Also, maybe you don't even wanna post an edit, you wanna post just a raw clip. Maybe you got a cool drone shot or just a shot that you filmed underwater. Whatever the case might be, you don't have to have an exported 1920 by 1080 video to drag it in and reframe it. You actually just have to create that Instagram sequence I walked you through, drag the clip into the project, and you can straight up be editing an Instagram video that doesn't live anywhere else. Does that make sense? I'm gonna take it as that does make sense. All right, we're gonna jump into TikTok now. So back into my fresh clean slate project in Premiere here, I have the same exact video that I had last time, but this time we're gonna convert it into a TikTok format. To do so, same exact steps as last time, go up to File, New, Sequence, click OK, Sequence Settings, and we're gonna just change the frame size from horizontal and vertical. We're just gonna flip flop these two because TikTok's format is a nine by 16 when the standard 1920 format is a 16 by nine. Simple obviousness, flop the numbers and you get nine by 16 as opposed to 16 by nine. What I mean by that is take your horizontal frame size, click Control X to cut it and then go paste it on the vertical side. So that 1920 is now where 1080 stood and then put 1080 over on the vert on the horizontal side. So now we have 1080 by 1920 as opposed to 1920 by 1080. Scroll down, click OK, and here we are with a beautifully formatted TikTok sequence. Yeah. So yes, everything else is pretty much the same. Just go ahead and drag your file back on here, click keep existing settings, and as you can see, we just gotta scale it up again. Scale it up till it fits and then reposition any frames you'd like to reposition. Make a cut, scroll to the end of the clip, make another cut, reposition. Do that again for any clips you need to, and you'll see the video. And if it fits exactly as you'd like to, you're good to export. Exporting's pretty much the same exact process. We're gonna go up here, file, scroll down, export, media, preset, YouTube 1080 Full HD, yet again. Check the box down here, use maximum render quality, and then this is the key, match source so that it goes back to the sequence we created to fit TikTok. Output name, save it and name it exactly where you want. Click export, get us to your phone. Bada bing, bada boom, you're good to go. That pretty much solves every single answer I think I would have questioned myself if I was wondering how to uh, export things for Instagram and TikTok. But if you still have any questions, please drop them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them. Or at least I'll try my best. Hit a like. If you like the video, smash it if you're kind of weird. And also, subscribe if you're new here because I have videos like this coming out every single Friday. I'm having a lot of fun with this YouTube stuff. I don't just cover filmmaking. I do vlogs and I do all sorts of things. Basically, you get an inside look at my life as the filmmaker for Jamie O'Brien. And I'm trying to give as much knowledge as I can and that I've learned throughout my filmmaking career. There's still a lot more to cover and a lot more to do. So thanks again and I'll see you next Friday. Mm-hmm.
Yeah, I make decisions to glow. Ridiculous flow, potential to glow. You know, I, I just do that. Consolidate my reasons, line it up, put them together. Anyone that ever let me down, forget them forever. My memory's bad. Remember me, though? My memory's gone. My memory, it limits me home. No tree huggers, cause all the lumber's gone.